It's very interesting, actually. Let's have a look at the palette, and I'll explain to you exactly what I mean. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So compliments are quite easy. So whatever, whatever you've got, if you've got one of these things, which is a color wheel, you will see that... Let's, let's put the let's put the red there. You will see that the opposite the red on the color wheel is green, so that's its complement. So the opposite to orange is blue, and the opposite to um, yellow is a violet or purple. Now, when we're talking about let's put that safe. When we're talking about complements, green and red sit really well together. You can see. They, they seem to balance each other out very well. So when you're painting, always remember about compliments and things like that. I've got extensive videos on this, but what I'm saying to you is, let's get some, let's get some red. Now you can make a gray with compliments. So it, the, the colors complement, in this case of green, will actually neutralize or gray out the red. I'm just adding a lot of water to this because I'm on paper. So if we add green to that, you can see all of a sudden <laughs> it's changed the color. So it's gone quite gray, haven't it? Look at that. So if you want to darken the red, rather than using black or burnt umber, add a little bit of green to it. It's amazing when you think about a lot of people when they want to when they want to darken the color will will go down the route of adding black to it especially beginners and that's not what you want to do you basically want to add its complement and you'll get a lovely color like that look at that isn't that wonderful so the more green you add to that the light that that's going to get and it's going to eventually get down to a point where it's more green than red there you go so you're just basically gray in a color out so two things three things complements sit really well together on a painting so if you've got a green and a red together on a painting they work really well strawberries with green leaves obviously look really nice good enough to eat um, but obviously, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to darken a red or or any colour, you go to its you go to its complement and you add a little bit of that to it instead of black, and there you go. So let's have a look at the green now. Does it work the other way? Well, we'll soon see. It should do in theory. This is this is the theory of it. So complements are quite good. Study your colour wheel. Get yourself a colour wheel. They're cheap enough, honestly. They are really cheap. So let's add a little bit of red now. We don't want to don't want too much red to it, but we'll see. And you can see all of a sudden, that's going to change that completely as well. So it's going to darken that green. Look at that. It looks like a hooker's green, doesn't it? That's a, that's a really nice green to start off a painting. If you're going to paint a tree or something like that, and you wanted to put a darker layer paint in, whatever green you're using, just add a little bit of red to it. And then we can darken that even more if you wanted to. By adding a bit more red. And again, what's going to happen is this is going to go all the way through the color spectrum back to red. Now in a previous lesson I showed you how to do to tints, tones and shades. So you could use white to tint any of these. Or you could use black or you could use grey to do your um, shades or your, your tones. But that is a wonderful way of showing you very quickly that complements actually um, are used then um, to, to, to grey out the colours. Um, you can darken colours, complements, um, but they basically use the, the dull, the dull that colour down. So you've got your green very quickly. You wanted to dull that a little bit. You just add a little bit of red to it. There you go. And all of a sudden that green is a lot darker. And again with red, if you want to use red, 
to grey out that colour or to darken the red naturally just use its complement which is green and all of a sudden you've got a really nice dark red play with the colour wheel experiment sit there sometimes with a bit of paper don't waste any paper just use them old paints and have a go at color mixing if you want to see any more of those lessons click the i cards there and i'll take things into a little bit more detail but very quick tip if you want to gray out the color use its compliments bye